What's up guys? We have a Royal Navy helicopter here called a Wildcat. Never seen anything quite like it. I figured I'd share it with y'all after uh, my H145 video had a lot of views. Uh, I work on the uh, MH65 Dolphins. We're going to do a quick walk around and show you some of the things that we noticed as mechanics. Uh, what's different? It's crazy there's only one side has sticks here. Cyclic and collective. I got nothing over here but a joystick. So that's the camera controls. Okay. Camera controls. All right. I see I have. It's pretty normal. It's like a mouse here. Yeah. So that's the. Um, it is literally a mouse. So your yeah. wheel just rolls across all the screen. Yeah. Wow. Um, but the. Rather than a left and right click, you've got a four position switch either uh, side, okay. which is just mirrored. Yeah. So, depending on if the pilot's using it. Oh, wow. So, he, you can reach over and do it. Yeah, you can both do it. Or either one. Nice. Yeah. Um, the CDNU's in front are pretty standard. Yeah. You see those most aircraft uh, and the yeah. We have a, a stab system, which is this one, is pretty um, old school. It's basically an analog system. What does it have for, did you say weaponry stuff? Weapon release, so okay. we've got um, two weapon systems, the Martlet and the uh, Venom. And um, they're all controlled, mostly controlled from the left hand seat where you are. You'll, okay. you'll do most of the, uh, the targeting from that side. Nice. And then uh, the pilot will just lift the flap and release to fire it off. Yeah, um, everybody thinks ours are super cool, but pretty much our triggers are just for communication. Yeah, that's and, the same. That's all. Yeah, yeah hoisting and everything. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. What's this uh, bottle for up here? Uh, that's just a fire extinguisher. Yeah, it's just a fire extinguisher. Because nice. it has to be up front because we just fly with yeah, you, front okay. in the back. So yeah. Yeah. Crack the windows and put it out. Wow. The laptop's all just a. Um, yeah. Engines, electrics, fuel systems. It's all just on-off switches up there. It's really like straightforward aircraft. To get yeah, I wasn't there. wasn't expecting it to just have the one pilot and an observer. It's definitely different. A lot of room back there. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. That's right. What's the flight endurance like? Two hours, pretty much. Yeah, that's about similar. Yeah. yeah. On really, if you, you put a lot of power, it drops down to yeah. about 45. Yeah, they got, they got, got so it looks like you have a cable cutter up on the top here. Is that for like power lines potentially to keep going in the head or yeah, but exactly that, that really. Uh, okay. so you've got the cable cut on the top. We used to have one on the. Uh, yes, yeah, so you got those two as well. Oh, okay, that guy so it gets it over the wipers. Yeah, cuts it up there. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, so you've got the reinforced beam in the middle. Yeah, um, a slider. Yeah, and then little guides there. We can have one fitted on the nose under here as well, but um, we don't. Okay. Don't tend. We don't have it on the HMAs. It blocks the radar. Yeah, it blocks oh, the radar, okay. so we don't even bother. Okay. What we tried to do is just. Not flying a wire, so yeah, then you have we, to worry about it. Yeah, we do as well, but I mean, it's nice to have something there in case, you know. The, the armory variant has both. Okay, nice. They, so, what's, how many variants are there? I don't know anything about this helicopter. I don't even know what it's called. Uh, so, we have. Two. So it's the Wildcat. We have the HMA2, which okay. is the helicopter maritime attack two, um, and then the AH1, so the army helicopter one. So, okay, nice. Um, theirs is more of a utility aircraft, so they don't have the radar. Uh, they still have the camera, um, but they don't have any of the weapon system stuff. So they just sort of battlefield support. Um, they look pretty much exactly the same, with exception of the, the dome on the front. Does uh, the other one have the hoist? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we we'll have the, the hoist just comes off and on as, as and when you need. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Short notice for search and rescue. Okay. Yeah. It's crazy the uh, struts come up through the. Yes. The, the same. I mean, the middle one. They're exactly the same. Oh wow. It comes up. That's crazy. Yeah, through the center console, so you can't yeah. see it. But yeah, but it's up. It's it going right up inside. Up yeah. Wow. That's wow. I've never seen anything like that. And then when you when you're airborne, obviously it's fully all the yeah, way down, all so all you, down. you end up with it because we don't have fold away on the go. So you mentioned weapon stuff. There's no weapons on it now, right? No. These little boxes. Um, they are countermeasures, so that's where you would fit your flares and oh, chaff. Okay. Nice. Uh, so we've got the upper and lowest. Okay. We have 
50-50 flares and chaff. Nice. Um, yeah, the head looks really side. high tech compared to ours too. Everything's more streamlined. Ours is like blocky, square, yeah. you know, two paddles. So we got like a single block of titanium. Yeah. Uh, Semi-flexible, mm -hmm. something like that. But yeah. yeah. Is that, you're talking about like the, the yes, star flex? Yeah, the really? star flex piece okay. there. So it's That's like metal. a solid piece of titanium. Okay, yeah, ours is like fiberglass. Um, That's interesting. Yeah. So it's a it's, chunky but it has to like it's yep. you know 11,000 pounds of aircraft so it's pretty solid oh, yeah. it has to lift it up. I see the dual engine and then the exhaust goes up kind of like the the army over there their 60s do that make it uh, so they it, what it does is uh, reduce your IR signature oh really for for ground launched IR weapons okay wow because it's just because there's less heat yeah that you can see from the ground off, um, wow you look at Stingers and stuff, they look good yeah. at the exhausts. Okay. Because it's red yeah, hot totally. and you can see it. So that's why it goes up. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I know that the 60s, the blades are similar too, where they curve down at the ends. Yeah. And I think that's for noise as well, but I'm not 100% sure. But other than that, the tail is very boxy looking. And uh, I guess HF antenna, is that what? You have yes, you've got side? HF on this side. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's boxy because uh, we have the side mounted HMG, so okay. it introduces a lot of flex into the airframe when you're gotcha. firing sideways. Mm -hmm. um, and on the. And what's HMG? The uh, 50 cal. Okay, nice. So we get that mounted on the side. That makes sense. Um, yeah. And uh, when you're flying along, it, you get a lot of sideways oh, yeah. movement in the airframe. I can believe it. And you end up with it flexing at the transportation joint here, wow. which is why it's so solid. Okay. Um, and so for that joint, that's where it can fold yeah. if it needed to, it, like for heavy maintenance type transport or something. Uh, I don't, no, I don't see a seat. We used to. No, it doesn't fold anymore. Okay. So yeah. all of our, all of the ships we have now have got a hangar big enough to fit. Oh, okay, it, so but they, they used to, to be made to where they could so fold. The, or something? the links, which is the predecessor, used to fold about here. Oh, there. Okay. That's how we used to fold around, but huh. it's we don't have that anymore. Yeah. So this is we have the you know horizontal stabilizer, vertical stabilizer. This is obviously we were just talking about. These are smaller, but a little bit thicker. They might have more, you know, aerodynamic effect because of the shape and less just size. Because our Finistron, everything's huge. Yeah, exactly. And this is just more efficient, I think. Yeah, so you've got like the three aerodynamic surfaces you can yeah. see like uh, vertically, wow. which are all counted off to offload the, the tail and forward fly. Yeah, nice. um, and then the horizontal stabilizer, like most aircraft, when you're at high speeds, your nose down attitude, the aircraft wants to pitch forward so yeah that just provides a, a nice. downward lift moment to like level the aircraft to give it a more more level attitude at high speed yeah just like a car and uh, fast and furious something a little spoiler action. Yeah, exactly awesome well, what was your name again jerry i'm chance i really appreciate your time for that uh, i made a video a while back about our um our airbus uh demo they brought a plane out for us to check out and it actually got a lot of attention so i was like oh maybe i'll make another video people seem to like this stuff so thanks for uh walking me through all that that's all right it's really cool Here's a look at our Dolphin helicopter for comparison. Uh, it's a 65. Uh, the other Coast Guard helicopter that we have is the uh, Jayhawk or a 60, which is similar to a Black Hawk. Uh, it just doesn't have the folding tail and some of the uh, setups for military purposes. It's a little bit more search and rescue oriented. So obviously this is a little bit more smooth and shiny. Uh, and it sticks out like a sore thumb being orange. Uh, you can see here's the Finistron. Uh, this is big tail area here where our tail rotor is inside of um, and it's got a lot more smaller blades compared to the four big blades uh, and then bigger you know stabilizer wings and everything a little bit more aerodynamic looking um, but probably less power if I had to guess in the engines uh, you can see the rotor head is not as up-to-date looking um, square paddles uh, fiberglass star flex and everything compared to their newer metal like heim joint looking parts um, and our blades are nice and straight. They don't have anything crazy on the end. Um, just a little thin metal tip cap uh, for inside. Uh, we do have two pilots for this plane. Uh, so there's two sets of sticks in here. We've got uh, the pilot side here. We've got your uh, cyclic and collective. Uh, basically the collective, if you don't know, that pulls all the blades up together, uh, creating more lift. And then this one's your directional flight basically and they work together to steer everything uh, but you see there's another set over there whereas the wildcat only has the one set uh, which is really interesting and it sounds like that co-pilot over there on um, the wildcat will climb into the back if needed whereas we always have uh, someone in the back here which is part of my job 
as a AMT, uh, aviation maintenance technician. I'm also a flight mechanic uh, or a basic air crew, depending on uh, what unit I'm at and what I'm doing. Uh, so I'll sit back here and talk on the radio and uh, work the hoist and everything. Uh, or at this unit, we also have uh, trained snipers to shoot uh, out the window. We have these slings here that support the weight of the gun and you shoot at drug boats to get them to stop when they won't comply. Uh, that's a long story. But As you can see, this one's set up with a gun rack and ammo storage here. Uh, pretty neat mission, and that's why we're doing some training uh, with the Royal Navy. Uh, other things you can see here, uh, everything's pretty sleek on the sides. There's a compartment for everything. Uh, this is a little storage compartment back here. Uh, you can fit um, a life raft uh, or maybe like a uh, litter, as they call it, or the rescue basket. Uh, here we have a big maintenance box with like spare oil and different tools and stuff in there for this setup. Uh, you can see we've got the HF antenna or towel rack and then the hand towel rack as I call it. Uh, there's a couple different little terms we like to joke about like we got the dog house here is this cowling which has an egg beater on the top. Um, a couple other random little things we call that cowling the turtle back. Uh, these are wrap around cowling so you can see there's a lot of space up here whereas the other aircraft had a lot more headroom uh, for the crew inside I felt like so a little bit different our landing gear is retractable also so uh, you flip a lever and hydraulically this stuff tucks away uh, for a little bit more sleek uh, aerodynamic style um, also the struts are fully encased so they stop about here and uh, that chrome section there just kind of goes up into inside of itself uh, and when you're flying around those hang down so Similar in a lot of ways, uh, but different enough that I was interested in it. Here's our hoist. You can see it is fully encapsulated in this cowling here, which is kind of hard to take off because it's painted and sealed with potting. Uh, and that's all hydraulically controlled and has lines coming up through here uh, with you know, hoist control there. So uh, a lot going on for that. So in some aspects, this may be hard to work on, uh, but I'm sure they all have their little quirks that make them challenging. Uh, but for the most part, I really enjoy working on these. Let me know if you guys have any questions. So walking up, I see the uh, main rotor blades are very straight. I know this ours sag down a good bit, so that's rough of that. Yeah, the tips on these things are crazy. It's kind of like, like a tomahawk look at the end of it. Pretty crazy. Do you remember what they're called? What is this? Uh, thing? I think it's a wildcat. A wildcat, yeah, I did hear him say that. So one thing I didn't show earlier uh, as we were walking around is it's got a cargo hook down here right in the center screen and then um, a talon which is what grabs the boat when they land on it uh, on a grid and holds it down and they called it a harpoon. I thought that was funny. Yeah, we call it a talon, they call it a harpoon. Uh, a couple other things I didn't notice. I think this is their maintenance step right here. Yep. What step? I don't know. What is that thing? That's got like measurements on it. That's weird. Don't know. Oh look, it's zip tied shut. That's their security so we don't go in there. Nice. That's funny. All glass cockpit. Yeah, with the four screens in there. Got four screens. Some yeah, I checked it out a little bit earlier. So he was just asking about the engine sticking up and as I was speaking with the uh, pilot, uh, I thought it was for sound because that's what it seemed like I was told on the, the like Army 60s why they're going up but really it's for the uh, like anything that traces heat to track them or to you know for like a missile or anything like that it disperses the heat because it gets right up into the fan pretty much and anything coming from the ground shooting up it's going to be a lot less hot when it goes straight up instead of it coming out of the side so that's why those are yeah, there's like, like patch four there. little bolts on this on this uh, horizontal stabilizer, and then yeah, we have a similar-ish HF antenna, and then uh, what's the little one again? ILS antenna. Yeah, ILS probably. Yeah. So well, I call that the uh, the towel rack, and then this is the hand towel rack. That's pretty common common terms. 
and then ours has a big finestron encasing the tail rotor where their tail rotor is just sticking on the outside and it's a lot bigger with only four blades this is more like a, a black hawk or a 60 as you hear me say more or less the, the one on the 60 is a lot bigger i want to say it's on the other side too isn't it or is it on this side i can't remember yeah there's, there's usually like a ton of stuff out here from the army uh, or even our planes but not today it's a training day pretty wild saying Sweet. something different yeah everything's so so squared off yeah ours is like a big round Mazda Miata compared to this thing's more like a truck yeah so that's the strut just goes up in oh, there really? yeah so it, when it when it is off the ground that goes all the way down and I guess instead of just having like a permanent structure that it goes up into it just goes through this piece check this out have you seen this yet oh so would you could, look at that I put that just on. look at that i can't pull it out either i'd have to drill it why you just it look out. at it yeah it's sad it's the only mark i, I mean just car. look at it yeah i mean just get a look at that they've got uh he was showing me this after i asked about it that's a cable cutter yeah yeah it's for they fly into yeah they fly into the power line or something so it's also got these little guides right here that he said get it up over the wipers and then it has a rail in the middle to guide it up yeah no you're gonna crack the windshield still probably but yeah if you accidentally he said there's supposed to be one in the front but it interferes with the radar so it's taken off right now yeah this is a huge platform but these are easy to work with since they're not. It doesn't look like they're retractable. Nah, so. it doesn't look retractable, yeah, so probably a little bit easier. You got your lines for the brakes. Looks like pretty standard yeah. stuff. Yeah. Your uh, servicing and everything. You can learn a lot just by reading all the stuff it says on it. A lot of little signs. Wheel to be I'm four and a half. How, how else can the wheel be? Aside from the aft, does this wheel turn? Look at that. How else could the wheel go? Maybe it pivots. Oh, it does look like it pivots. Look, it has a little. Yeah, you got a pin? It has pins in here. Wow, I wonder what's up with that. Why would they have that pivot? That's interesting. If anybody knows anything about that, please let me know. That doesn't make much sense to me. I guess you could parallel park this thing. <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. Push it in the hangar sideways. Yeah, it seems like it. Looks like they got two sliding doors, one on each side. Two little buttons here, just pops open the door. So this is how you put gas in the rig. And uh, we were just admiring these. We have to use a Phillips head to undo all our little uh, connectors like that. And this is just a little press fit. And that's just so much faster and you don't need a tool or anything, so. I guess they call their fuel F2434. Yeah, different F types. names for the fuels. Um, also, this is where the emergency float comes out flop gear that's where the uh, float comes out if it lands in the water there's also one up here in the front and we were noticing their hoist must be electric because it just has a big cannon plug no hydraulic lines and you can totally disconnect it with just some diaper pins it looks like and take this whole thing off or replace the hoist pretty quickly uh, ours has a bunch of fiberglass panels over it and uh, sealant and a bunch of screws and it's just a real pain to work on so some stuff looks more user friendly on this thing but things like the weird landing gear might be difficult hard to say now the gas is the grass is always greener but uh definitely looks like a, a cool rig to work on i'd like to see the engine but we're not going to go digging into that and uh causing issues for them since nobody's around us right now but pretty cool they're going to be here for a little while doing some cross training uh teaching each other stuff about uh, counter drug missions so Thank y'all for checking it out.